Hey, what's up everyone? Today's video is going to be over Pumon, Pumon's Korean inspired beef stir fried noodles. Uh, ramen noodles, seared beef, and mixed vegetables with a sweet and savory Korean barbecue bulgogi sauce. As usual, I got this from Costco, uh, delivered to me by Instacart this time. Uh, these usually go for about 16 bucks, a little bit less, I think like 15, 86. Uh, but I got these on sale for I think like $12.80 something cents. So from 15 down from 16 down to about 13 bucks. Um, so yeah, so this video is going to be over this product featuring a watermelon. Um, let's see here, it contains ramen noodles, bulgogi sauce, seared seasoned USDA choice beef steak and starch strips, and uh, some vegetable topping. Right, so let's start off with the nutritional facts here. So each container comes with four servings, uh, 340 calories per serving, so about 1,360 calories. Going to be embarrassed if my math is incorrect. A lot of carbs, good amount of protein, good amount of fats. Let's open this up in case anyone wants to go through the video and read these things closely. Our Korean inspired beef stir fry noodles and you guys can read the rest on your own. For over 40 years, wow. All right, and then the instructions, which I may or may not follow, do not microwave. Okay then, I won't microwave it. Stove top versus stir fry, all righty. I think I'm going to go with one of these. Oh wait, it's both the same thing. You just oh, it's both the same thing. You just cook it on a stove top uh, with uh, with oil. All right, so let's do that. All right, so here's the packet opened. It comes with one two, three packets of noodles, uh, one, two packets of beef and starch, one packet of sauce, and one packet of vegetables, uh, which is very odd how this is divided out. Seeing how it's four servings, why did they not have four packets of noodles? And then we would know that half of this is one serving, one of this is a serving, and then a fourth of this, but for some reason they gave us three, so you have to divide that more complicatedly. So three-fourths of these, which is, wait, or four-thirds? No, yeah, three-four, four, okay, you guys know what I'm talking about, hopefully. But yeah, everything's out here so you can see what's in here. There's the watermelon, and I have the pan heating up right now. All right, here it is, oven's on high, everything's hot and burning. Uh, I'm gonna put some oil in here. Hopefully that's a good amount. And then I uh, got my packet of noodles right here. And then I guess I'm just gonna dump them in and stir fry. Mm, I think I accidentally touched the plastic to the pan, so I'm gonna have a delicious flavor of melted plastic added to this. All right, so I've been stir frying for about a minute. The noodles are still kind of a little bit clumped, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to them like so. Hopefully that's enough to, to get the noodles to break apart. It's still a little bit clumpy. Oh, this guy's coming apart good. This guy's still a little bit clumpy over here. This guy's still a little bit clumpy over there. So I think I'm going to need both hands to do this part, so I'm going to pause the video again. So it's been about three minutes since adding the noodles, maybe four minutes. All right, it's just round up to five minutes. Uh, now I'm going to add the sauce. There we go. Oh wow, there's actually little chunks inside of the sauce too. If you can see it or not. What is this, carrots, mushrooms maybe? Yeah, and it's smelling really good. The noodles are coming apart, good. Maybe I should have used a little bit more oil. Oh, and I should probably reduce this heat down. There we go, so I don't burn everything. But yeah, I'm gonna stir this for a little bit more, then add uh, the meat and then garnish with, with the vegetables, which we all know is just onions. All right, it's been cooking for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna add the beef here. 
Maybe I should do one at a time. There we go. That bag's, the bags are basically empty. There's a little guy there. There we go. Get him out. Here's the beef. Uh, up close if y'all wanted to see it. There we go. You can see the fibers there. Then I'm going to stir this some more. All right, so it's been about maybe 10 minutes in total of cooking. Uh, I'm going to turn off the heat now. It's off. Now here's the vegetable garnish that you guys can see. Looks like dried onions. Uh, just I guess pour it right over the top. Okay, so I'm going to let this cool and then we can do the taste test. Here it is. It actually looks and smells great. Um, total cooking time, probably 15 minutes less. And then time to cool, maybe five minutes. But yeah, let's do the taste test. So I'm, I'm betting you guys were thinking that I was gonna put this into a bowl or dish or something and eat with the fork or some chopsticks. No, I cooked it in this pan, I used the spatula, I'm gonna eat it in this pan using this spatula. Why? Because I'm an adult and I don't like doing dishes. All right, let's see if I can get this. All right, I got some noodles here. Mmm. Honestly, I didn't expect the noodles to be good, but they're pretty good. The texture's good. It's not mushy or overcooked, and it's not too dry and hard like I thought it would be uh, at the beginning. Here's a piece of meat. Wow. Nice and tender. Uh, the flavors are good. You know, this is honestly as good or if not better than a lot of uh, uh, so-called Korean restaurants in, um, in the city that I live. So yeah, I think I'll be getting this more often. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, have a good one.